Hi Libra, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for April 2022, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for April 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for April 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Libra. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So, Libra, you have the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I. This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Libra, listen, you could be weighing things up, trying to decide here, okay? However, you can tell me that there's juggling taking place. Clarify the two of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the two of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the two of pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Libra, listen, you know, it very well could be something going on financially. And maybe you're having to move money around here. Maybe there's some type of financial lack. However, you can tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide whether or not to break up with someone. Or there was a breakup because of juggling. Libra, you have the two of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates, soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Libra, listen, you're dealing with your soulmate here, okay? Very well could be some type of agreement as well. Clarify the two of cups for Libra. Clarify the two of cups for Libra. Clarify the two of cups for Libra. It is clarified with the king, the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Libra. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of, or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Libra, listen, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Libra. Clarify the devil for Libra. Clarify the devil for Libra. It is clarified with the four of wands. 
Aries, Leo or Sag, this is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So listen, Libra, you know... You're telling me that this person is your soulmate and maybe wanting to take action to go into a legal binding contract with this person and maybe level up and maybe go into some type of commitment here. However, you can tell me that you guys already had this established stability or a commitment and something toxic was here. So we'll see whether you're going into or coming up out of a situation with this person. Libra, you have the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Libra, listen, you're telling me that you're hurt. Your feelings may be hurt or you're telling me that there was a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Libra. Clarify the three of swords for Libra. Clarify the three of swords for Libra. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest could be waiting on money so Libra listen you know very well could be looking at your coins here look your bank account and maybe if something is going on financially here or suffering financial lack however Libra you can tell me that you're hurt you're disappointed you're heartbroken and maybe you're still waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship it's kind of throwing me off because it seems like you know, something is hurtful and painful here, some type of breakup, but I feel like we're questioning something now. Why is that? Libra, you have the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Libra, new love, new start to love, or a blessing? Clarify the Ace of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Ace of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Ace of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. <clears throat> so Libra could be dealing with a Taurus, but you guys may be in a commitment. Yeah, someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences of values. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings here. So Libra, listen, there's an opportunity for practicality, money, assets, resources, property, possibly some type of blessing coming in from an institution, organization, governmental agency, and we're dealing with the coins. But this could also be about commitment here, a new start to love, forgiveness, and maybe going into some type of commitment here. It's like rising up out of the ashes, like the phoenix, honey. What is this? 
Libra, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Libra, it is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Libra, listen, could be dealing with a Gemini. You can tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull here. You can tell me that there's another other lover. Or you're telling me that this can be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Libra, clarify the lovers. For Libra, clarify the lovers. For Libra, it is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news or message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Libra, you could be sending out passionate messages. You could be receiving passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument here. Clarify the page of wands for Libra. Clarify the page of wands for Libra. Clarify the page of wands. For Libra, it is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into someone. So Libra, listen, very well could have been some immature, premature communication had here. Yes. However, you could have went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Libra, you can tell me that you're hurt because you were waiting you can tell me you're hurt because, yes, you were waiting, but there's a third party and you guys broke up because of juggling. But you can also tell me that you're hurt because you're seeing that they're going into some type of commitment. This may be their commitment here. This may be their commitment here that has you hurt. However, Libra, you know, there's hurt feelings and it very well could be hurt because there was a third party, but I feel like... You guys are reaching out to each other, speaking to one another, and there's some immature, premature communication about leveling up here. So it very well could be you getting ready to go into some type of commitment or stability with this person. And you're debating on whether or not should I, should not just stay broken up with this person because they're coming in with this offer of new love, love and commitment for you. Libra, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace